is brunch. I'm about to go live. <laughs> it's 6 30. Okay, hey, we are live. Hi, Drea. Hi, Alicia. <laughs> we were discussing our looks today. We are bronzy IG on a yacht, right? We are IG <laughs> on a yacht. We do an IG on a yacht. We are doing IG on a yacht makeup. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Makeup Monday on a Thursday. Listen, life gets gets over us and shit happens, and we are here. Yeah, we are here. Yes. We are Hi. here. We are here. Hi, Drea. <laughs> All right. So, what you using today? Did you are you sticking with what you told me, or did you change it? No, I'm sticking with this. I'm gonna use the Latte Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. Latte two, okay. excuse me. I still don't have any Dominique Cosmetics. Hi, Crystal, and I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. Palette. Let's see what's in yours. Ooh, all right, girl. All right. And I'm going full bronze. So we're going bronzy looks today, like, you know, summertime bronzy. Now, of course, we were going to try to do. Glamorous bronzy. Right. We're doing glam bronzy. You know, we I was going to try to do something that was a tad bit, let, you know, just like, you know, everyday bronzy. But ain't going to happen. Wait no, a minute. D'Angelo, be more fragrance store. He done changed his name on us. Look at all oh, that name up here. Does that mean you about to go start doing some shit on here, D'Angelo? I'm seeing be more fragrance. Are we turning <laughs> in our IG page now? <laughs> Hi, Bashan. Hello. All right, I prepped, so I'm ready Hi, to Crystal. go. I'm ready to go. Oh, you're ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to eyes and everything. I'm good. I'm good to go, girl. That's because I didn't come in here five minutes before we were supposed to start. <laughs> 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 you knew I would think that I'm like, oh, so are we doing something? Be more fragrant. <laughs> so why did you change your name, D'Angela? Right. Yes, I do look extra golden. Thank you, sir. We're friends. <laughs> yeah, why did you change your name? So we're doing glam bronze, right? We're doing that going out to dinner, you know, tropical, beachy, tropical nights, but not beachy nights. What kind of Instagram. tropical nights? Instagram on a yacht. Instagram on a yacht. Okay. Instagram on, because I'm telling you, I go on boats all the time. People don't be looking like this for real on the boat. Focus. <laughs> it'd be sweaty out That's there. I'm on the boat. If I'm on the boat, this is how it's about to be. I promise you, you're going to do that one time. And the next time you get on a boat, you ain't going to do that. Because it's, are you going to be hot? Because, you know, you sitting outside, you in the sun. Wait, wait, we said a yacht, not a boat. I'm going to be That's out a here. Chilling. No, you're not, you're not going to be down there. Because when you're on a yacht, whenever you're on a boat, you want to be up. Because when you're inside, you're not seeing anything. You don't see the water. You just sit inside. I've done that before. I was like, damn. And then I was like, this ain't no fun. And then and don't, and don't let the boat get, now if it's a yacht, you might be a little bit higher. But if they start going fast, honey, that spray comes up, fucks it all up. <laughs> you can tell I haven't been on a boat, huh? Or on a yacht. Well, I had to learn these things. So like the first time I went on my because I have my, my old friend, he had he's had boats for years, right? So the first time I go to the boat, I got on my little espadrilles, my high heel espadrilles, right? Girl right. walking down that dock. The docks are never even. The shit is always fucked up, no matter whatever one you go to. Because, <laughs> and I'm almost broke my ankles trying to walk and be cute and everything. I you twisted your ankle. <laughs> I can't be close to it. So I have learned flip flops, <laughs> cute sandals, <laughs> you know? So you got to be like, our, our like swimsuits, scarves are cute, and then just minimal makeup because it's going to get hot out there. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Look at this. This why he okay. That's why they was looking for you because you be more fragrant. You need to just come on here, D'Angelo. I'm just gonna invite you. Send me your number. I'm I'm sending you an invite. You gonna come on here with with us one day? Come on, me you or Jerry. Can we? Can I do Jerry with you, man? No, I want him now. Come on, D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
with it. Okay. You can pick my you can pick the shades I use. Oh, he can pick the shades you use. You can pick some shades. <laughs> oh, snap. Pick some colors. Okay, so where we where are you going first, Coco? I know you're gonna start um, on your outer part. So you're probably using that brown. Uh wait, this one. Uh, I know that's what I'm saying. I know you're about to do that because we know you're going with a straight smoky bronzy eye. I'm about to be as extra as fuck too. All right, let's make this happen. Yes. So I'm gonna start out. You know, I'm gonna do my brow first. So that's where y'all always start out. And I'm gonna start out with this swarm. I think. I, either, I think I should do swarm, or I think I might do keeper. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's your that's your excuse. Okay, when when you ain't gonna be at work. Oh, let me turn the fan on in here. It's a little it's getting a little hot in here. It sure is. All right, let me see. You know, I have a lot of dirty brushes today, you guys. So hold on, let me find one that's not dirty with blue on it. Yeah, because you have been living your best blue life. <laughs> I love blue eyeshadow. I really do. Okay. I'm going to use the rough brush, but you know, babe, it was like, oh, don't get that blue eyeshadow because people did not know how to wear blue eyeshadow. <laughs> Number twelve. Hold on. From Ruffer. Okay, it's like so a, it's, a, it's like a Ruffer twenty-seven. Huh? Oh, this is me. Am I doing? I think it's me. Uh, here we go. Let me fix this. I was like, where'd you go? There you are. She's back. Guys. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna and now it's freezing up on me again. Uh I'm I about heard. to I'm about to change my I'm gonna change my wi Wi Fi okay. soon to a different because I found out. T-Mobile has it, so I'm going to try theirs for a minute to see if I get better. Uh oh. You thought I walked away? I did walk away for a minute. Not for everybody. Not forever. Not forever. Okay. So I'm going to do Swarm because it's a little bit lighter. Okay. Oh, I didn't even say what my color is. What's it called? Cafecito. Whatever. It's Cafecito. What is it Cafecito. Okay. That's what they said. Cafecito. Girl, you know, hey, folks be making up them names. Now, I've made, I bought this palette, I think, in the fall, at the fall VIB sale, when it was real cheap. And I, this is my first time using this palette. Right, because they went half price, and I should have bought them in. They were just then, half price on the 4th of July, too. Girl, I have not been, you know, I've been trying to be good, and it, it hasn't worked out. So some things I've been good on. And then other things I haven't. Me too. Because we I'm about how much are those Sonya G's? I didn't even see the price, girl. I just they're, thought them handles. They're two fifteen. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I love to put my dark color on first. Look at this. You know it's, it's seasoned up on me, so I'm gonna do this. Hold on, I'm about to okay. turn it off on my other computer on my computer so I can see. That's what I'm about to do. <laughs> so we gonna have like 17 things going yes. on. Hi, Hi Tisha. Tisha. Okay, like real easy. If like, really, if you were in a hurry, just put on something smoky on the outer corner and put some uh, mascara <laughs> or lashes on and go on about your day. Look. Hold on, I can't see it yet. Oh, I think that's enough. No, I'm just playing. I'm going to do some more. <laughs> but it could be enough if you didn't have time. Stay right there for a minute, Coco, so I can see you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what you got going on, girl. Hi, Natisha. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Bashan. Why, why isn't it coming up? What's hmm. the matter? 
Oh, I see it now. I see it now. It's just okay, in a different so Hold I want on. My huh? Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying to see you. Don't you move. Hold on. I want to see something. Okay. Let me turn this off so I don't have like a feedback. So I just want to see you. I just want to see you. Okay, I see you. Okay, I see you. You look a cute girl. Okay, now you can keep going. It's one color. Okay, but I'm going to add uh, coffee coffee beans. I'm going to add this one. It's a little bit darker than the first shade I put on and a little bit more cool tone. So how are the Dominiques? I don't know yet. Here We're finding out right now together. <laughs> I thought you had used some at least. I have all you of them. Used. Used not Nan, one of them. How many did you buy? Oh, oh, Jesus. I don't even know. I don't even know why, why I'm having this conversation I, with you. I have, I have all of them. I have the first latte palette and I have Berry something. I think it's Berry Glam and I have Rustic Glam. I can't remember. I have them. I've got them. I yeah, because I, I, I was going to get them all, and then I just haven't. And I'm okay with that because. I, wait a minute, though. Let me just say this to save myself. I did not buy them all at once. I bought three of them from the VIB sale last fall, and then I can't remember when I got the other one. Okay. I haven't worn Rusty Glam, and I think Barry, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I got my first little piece on, which is my, you know, little transition-y kind of vibe. So this is Swarm. And I'm just making sure I build it up good. Because you know what I'm about to do. Because you're about to do Smokey. You know what I'm about to do. Yeah. Sarah, I can't stand no. autocorrect. Now, I'm going to put a little of this. What is it? Sweet right at the top by my brow bone because I just feel like it's a little too yellow. Too, you know, I wanted to be giving it just a little more transition. You know how it just looks like it's gonna be too unneeded to have a little more blend at the top. Yeah, look a little more natural. I don't even know what I'm putting on there yet on mine because it goes. This palette goes. Hold on. See how it goes super dark and then light. Mm-hmm. And I guess I might use this one to blend out the the dark. This is yeah. blonde yeah. rose. Blonde yeah. rose. Yeah. I'm gonna try that one and see what happens. Okay. And I'm still using some refer brushes. I'm using refer number fifteen. So I'm going with the Wayne Goss twenty. I don't know though. Maybe not. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Wayne Goss 20 because I want it all in my crease. Hi, Jamila. Hey, Jamila. This is what this is what I want to do. I want to take this yellow color, this mustardy yellow, and I'm gonna start it over here instead of over here and see how it blends. I want more of the color concentrated on the inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna go with drip, which is this one right here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This one right here. I'm gonna put that in my crease. This is orange. Everything be turning orange and pink on me. This this looks orange. I'm putting this straight in the crease. Because this is going to be my cut crease. So there's like a little hollow right here on my eyes. If somebody else has a similar eye shape, it's like right here. This spot, my brush is like all up in that area. And I'm going to bring it up into my brow and pull it over just a little bit. Yeah, I kind of have a kind of defined crease. Um, so it makes it kind of easy when you're trying to do that whole, you know, in the crease area. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what this is going to be smoky because every look turns out smoky, but I don't really know what else I'm doing with it. What are we playing with tonight? I have the Naked Honey. And I have the Latte 2 from Dominique Cosmetics. So I'm just going to blend it out on the top. So it's not such a harsh mine. This is what it looks like. I really want to do one of those harsh crease, you know, 
I, I gotta watch more about Mita a little more because she does the hell out of those. Okay, so this color I just put on the inner part of my crease and close to my nose. It's not the color I thought it was gonna be. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh, it do look kind of orangey on you though. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna take the um, nude color called Cafe Comleche. Wait a minute, right here, and see what it does when I mix them together. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna take it here, and I'm gonna bring it all the way over to that side, or to the outer corner. I'm not changing brushes right now. Now let me use that to blend this part just a little bit too. I like that because it lightened it up a little bit on the inner portion. Can you guys tell the difference between the one I just did and the one that was normal? That's a nice shade. I'm glad she put that in here. So what do you think about, does, and did I think, what do you think about the KKW, um, what's it called? The, uh, Rebranding. <laughs> yeah. What you think about it? I just think she's gonna get you know, everybody's saying she's just gonna get rid of the W. Uh-huh. Probably. But then it's gonna I, be KK. That's so what she's gonna have to rechange the whole name. This is what I have to say is that I'm mad that I bought the camo palette during the fourth of July sale because I could have got it for less money. And I don't know because <laughs> she went back up on her prices. I wanna say. Oh, it went back up? Uh-huh. Oh. I thought it was twenty five percent off of everything. And she even sent me a coupon for $20, $20 off of 40 purchase. Okay. But I didn't buy anything else because I already bought what I wanted. Right. During the 4th of July sale. And this will be my first KKW um, eyeshadow. And how long is it going to be? So is it natural glam? Never natural glam. Not when it's Coco and I. We, <laughs> we could I, don't, I don't know how to do natural glam, if I'm being honest. It's either zero or 100. <laughs> I can do some natural stuff, but not when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Like if I'm doing natural, that's for like when I'm about to um, film and I'm trying to get the shit done quick or I'm running out the door, I can get that done. So I have some some quick stuff that I do that's semi-glamorous. Now, if I'm running out the door, I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line in my outer corner and put on lashes. So it's still not natural. <laughs> See, I'll do like a whole um I I'll do like a whole matte color, one color, like a almost a neutral, and then sparkle it up and you know do like use my uh Sydney Grace cream eye eyeshadows. I don't have any. Them. I thought you had some. Uh-uh. I'm not a big um cream eyeshadow fan, so I don't have really? any. Girl, you need to get some of them. They're going to change the way you think about them. So I, I, like them. Not, I just need to not buy the light versions of the deep versions of the palettes that just came out. That's what I'm trying to keep from doing right now. Which palettes? The Temptalia palettes on Sydney Gray. You saw my trying to buy the other three? <laughs> I, was, I was like, maybe I should get all six. <laughs> okay, so okay. guess what I know is about to happen. You're going to get all six. You're going to get all six. I might. Oh, I know you. You're going to get all six. You, you're thinking about it. It's going to happen. So I don't like this isn't deep enough. Well, I don't know. I'm going to deepen it up with the sting that's right here. That last color. Yeah, I'm not in love with what I'm doing right now either. Uh, so but I will this. say these, these shades are beautiful. I think that this really, the color that turned orange on me it, it really is more like um, a clementine or, you know, um, it's a really an orangey yellow. But on my olive skin, it just turns more orange. Okay. And I didn't put a primer on. I didn't put on primer. I just have on my eye cream like usual. Well, you know, I'm going to put a little, I put a little on. So, because I have to even out mine. Because mine is, you know, I'm a little older. Hey, hey Kia. Hi, Kia. It might not do that if you had on primer. I don't know. But I don't like to do something different the first time I use a palette. Well, see, I always do that. I always use like paint jelly or soft ochre so I can mm -hmm. get a 
And that might help with all the color change because it's going to even that out. You might want to try some. I have some. I just haven't put it on. Look, I have these. The Julius Place one. But like I said, I didn't want to try it for the first time and do it different than I normally do my makeup. Right. I have, I have medium. Well, I have number two. Uh-huh. And I have number one. That's for when I do a cut crease one day on camera. <laughs> right. Let's see what people talk about. Oh, hey, yeah. Ray, how are you? Hey, Jeff. So I'm oh, going to say number, number one. I'm going to hit drip again. Okay. And I'm doing it right here because I want this to be really deep in the crease because I'm going to, you know, clean it up. So I want it to be a really deep, deep crease because it's not going to be this deep in a second. So I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number four brush. I love how pointy this one is too. Hold on. It's really nice and pointy. So I don't that. have anything on it yet. So I'm just going to use this to blend right here just a little bit. Coco? Yes? She's asking you being asked a question, love. No, I'm not a makeup um, professional. I just love makeup, and I know how to do my own makeup really well, according to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Glenda. Hi, Shannon. Hi. How are you doing, Glenda? Hey, Shannon. Um, asking what palettes we are using the Naked Honey. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette that I've had forever, like, I don't know, almost a year, and I haven't used it yet. It's really pretty. I'm excited to see what the shimmers do, but I brought some singles just in case I needed to pop more. Okay, I'm going to go in with this strawberry milk color right here and see what it looks like. Which color? Strawberry milk. Are we doing bronze? Yes, it's not going to be a lot, just a little bit. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I was keeping up with what I'm doing. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't switch. So excuse me, child. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hey, Chai. How are you tonight? I was just trying to find something that wasn't orange to um, soften up my dark I'm smoky. I'm just messing with you, girl. There we go. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to clean up my lid because I'm kind of okay with where I'm at right now. Are you going to cut the crease already? Mm-hmm. I'm moving, girl. I think I that the, the Dominique formula is beautiful so far. It's blending really well. It's not real powdery. Um, I like it so far. And see, I've already used the gold. I mean, honey, when I got it, which was so surprising. I was really surprised how much I liked it. Because right. I'm really not a gold person or anything like this. But in the summertime, I can go a little gold now. I can go a little bronzy gold because, you know, I'm a, you know, honey coated. <laughs> honey coated. I just want to deepen this outer corner a little bit more. It's not really blending away, but it is blending and building upon itself really well. I just need more. So I'm going back in with this color right here. It is called Coffee Beans. Okay, so if y'all notice what I did, I looked up and that will put your, cut your crease right where you want it. Because that's kind of like, 
where your eye will crease up. Lou trying to make sure I know how to do a smoky eye. I mean, a cut crease one day. I'm going to do it on camera one day. And I'm not going to practice before. Him. Who else is happy tomorrow's Friday? Who I'm happy today is Thursday because summer school is over. Yes. Summer school is over. <laughs> I don't have to cut my cream, so I'm just going to sit here and have a drink of wine for a minute. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I'm going deep into this one too. You really are. I know, right? But okay, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. I'm gonna I got the plan. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use. I don't know. I don't know what color I want to use. These are the these are the only three shimmers in this palette. I'm surprised I bought this. I don't think I was paying attention that there was only three shimmers because I like shimmers. If it was up to me, a palette would have like a couple a couple mattes and all the rest shimmer. Right. See, and I'm more mattes than shimmers. I just need two shimmers and the rest mattes. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I am starting to wear a few more mattes. I mean shimmers. I need to go back to doing just some all matte looks, though, sometimes. Ooh, maybe we could do that one day. Like, I'll do an all matte look. You do an all shimmer look. Okay, okay. I'm here for that. So there's a bronzy gold. There's a cool tone darker, like, iced coffee. I think it's the name of this color. And this is a, like, beige shimmer color. I'm putting the gold on. Okay. And I'm going to use I'm using my finger right now. You're using your what? Your fingers as always? Yep, for my shimmer. But I might have to use a brush and wet these because they're not super, super shiny. Okay. They're nice, don't get me wrong, but they're a little satiny for my face. Yep. I'm going to go in with the lighter shimmer um, with a wet brush. I would do, so have you done the darker shimmer yet? So I would, yeah, I would do the lighter shimmer on top of it. Yeah. The I did the bronzy golden shimmer. It's like an old, old color. Yeah, and then um, go over with the bright one wet, yeah. and then it's really going to make it pop. Okay. We'll see. I brought my little spray in here. I have a rougher P21. This is that means it's a prototype. I don't know what the regular 21 looks like when they finished it. I feel like I have it somewhere, but I don't know where it is right now. I'm just gonna use this. How do you, you get the ship the um, shimmer on the brush first, right? Put the shimmer on then spray it. Okay. Hey Faith. Hey, who else is on here? Hey Faith. Kia, yummy, aren't you a makeup artist? Hi, what else Kia. would I do besides being in the educational field? I have, oh, honestly, if I could just do anything that I wanted to, I would give events all the time. Fabulous, glamorous, glitzy ass events. But I would do more intimate events now. I don't like really large ones, like intimate for, you know, 20 to 25, maybe no more than 50. That's kind of intimate, depending on the space. Like if you have a mini mansion, 50 people is awesome. The color that I decided to go in with wet is called Frappe. This one. I'm trying to make sure I get this side uh, just the same. Woo, I'm about to do some stuff here, child. That's what I thought. Yeah, 
Kia is a makeup artist. That's why her makeup is so beautiful, so natural, unlike unlike me. <laughs> I know, Kia, Kia, you know, feel free to send me messages like, Lou, don't do that shit again. I would appreciate the uh, honesty. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, no. Uh, no, ma'am. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that I would probably not do my own makeup if I was a professional makeup artist. I would be so tired of it. Yep. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna let this in. I'm just. You know, I appreciate I, the real friends. Real friends tell you the truth. They'll be like, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> Dominique, you stop. <laughs> and you should appreciate your real friends because I be feeling like some people ain't got friends when you be seeing the shit they be posting up you be like where were they friends at right because <laughs> they ain't got a damn real friend in a bunch because all their friends end up there laughing at their ass like oh girl like I know this one chick I um, I swear to y'all <laughs> I wish I could find a picture um <laughs> I know this one chick, and, I, and we said she. You could tell these people were uh, were were frenemies, right? Because, <laughs> because she's like over six feet tall, and she was not shaped well. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't like because, like, I have some friends. I know some ladies who are you know statuesque and beautiful and tall, and you just right. be like, like looking like a goddess. You know what I'm saying? She mm -hmm. was not that chick, right? So they were going to a very adult, sexy Halloween party, um, right? Why does she let her friend go as Smurfette? Hell no. <laughs> <That's wrong. laughs> Full Smurfette, blue all over. Yes, she did. Now, her friend looked cute and sexy, and she looked a hot ass mess. See, I, I was. I was like, you could tell that they are for real frenemies because ain't no way. I was like, if any friend of mine let me walk out like that, I know they don't like my black ass. Right. And, you know, if a real friend wants you to shine equally. Right. You want your friends to shine. You Y'all supposed to be out there like girls like, yeah, we the crew. You know, yep. but she looked like the jolly blue giant. Hell and it was, it was nothing nice about it. It was nothing nice about it. All right, so I'm gonna use this color queen, which is this deep, like bron deep bronzy color shimmer, and I'm putting that on the outside. So I'm gonna start there. Ooh, look at this. See this stuff? You gotta watch it because it will. Um, you gotta let it dry. You gotta let it dry, or it will mess up your whole vibe. But that's okay because I'm about to fix this vibe right here. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, just, and then she had the nerve to let her take pictures and post them. That's what even made it worse, because she let her, I was like, with the, the, they ain't friends. That's messed up. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the first shimmer that I used. It is called Drizzle, and I'm going to put a little bit more of that on the center of my lid, and I sprayed the brush. Okay. You know what? I'm getting ready to pull out a different uh, a single in a second. Okay, so I'm going with this kind of bronzy vibe, and then I'm going to go over with the brown, but I got a plan because I'm not really featuring this a little, I don't know, it's a little too, kind of almost pewterish. So, what I'm going to do is Okay, um, so y'all see this look? Let me show you. So I'm done it with the sting, which is the darker brown, because I wanted to put the brown matte, because I don't want it to be as um kind of brown. It looks almost grayish on my eyes. Yeah, this is the closest I'm getting to a neutral to a um everyday look. It's not really how I like my makeup. So I'm going to deepen up this outer corner and I'm going to put on a single in a second. You look gorgeous. Stop it. Once you put the rest of your makeup on, it's going to be so cute. Stop it, girl. 
And then I'm going to take this HBIC because I am the HBIC in my real, in my life. At least nobody can tell me I'm not. And I'm going to do this. I'm uh, thinking now from Outer V a little bit more, and I'm going to use a single from JD Glow Cosmetics. Blend this outer edge a little bit more. I'm going to use the nude color matte just to blend out the edge a little bit. Highlight the brow bone areas. I kind of like a two tone crease where, like, the inner part of my crease is one color and the outer corner. Yes, when you get it a little deeper, yes. Yeah. I'm kind of into that too. It's so cute. What I think is going on is I'm just not a neutral girl. I've finally figured out I'm really not a neutral girl. <laughs> if I'm wearing eyeshadow, I want it to be colorful. Well, you know, I've been trying to be, I've been a little more neutral than I used to be. Remember when you first started watching me, I was all color. I was brighter than the sun, baby. All yep. the time. It'd be like pink, purple, blue, rainbow eyes. Yep. Okay, so here is my JD Glow palette. Well, this is a tart palette, but it's got my JD Glow palette, um, singles in it. And what are these? Oh, these. These are terrible. The little ones at the bottom are terrible. And I'm going to use a color called Unexpected from Daily Glow. It's really reflective and you can't really see what it says, but it's unexpected. Okay, so I think I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to let them, I'm going to marinate in this color, but I definitely am going to put a serious wing on here. I'm kind of, uh, yeah. I think I haven't done a really good pink look in a minute. I think I'm going to have to do some pinks in my life soon. A pink and berry toned all matte look would be bomb. Yes, it would. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this right here and then I'm gonna put on some liner. I'm gonna use this Kat Von D tattoo in brown because I'm gonna go with a brown liner. Well, let me just say this is why you should try one before you buy all of them. <laughs> why? You don't think you're gonna like them all? The shimmer is too subtle. Oh, yeah. The shimmer subtle. You ain't going to mess with it. Nope. Now I got six damn, uh, whatever that brand is. I got six of them. Dominique. That's all right. Nope. I'm going to buy from you, girl. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get the one. <laughs> you will not be stuck with them. I'm going to buy the Rusty Glam from you. And another one. So now you only got four. <laughs> okay I got my shimmer together the way I wanted it and oh I brought some q-tips with me you know that if you really are serious about your makeup you need some good q-tips and yeah. I, don't, I don't have anything what y'all about to have you they talking about black beans rice plantanos y'all about to have some you oh now I want a Yiborito. Jamila says she's not a fan of the latte palette either. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck's like, you go sell them? Uh, yeah, I got to do some. I don't think I'm going to use them. I don't know. But I'm going to use um, some of these Morphe. What are these things called? Tidy Tips. I got these super cheap off their website a while back. What are they? They're called Tidy Tips from Morphe. They're really nice. You know how sometimes people don't have enough cotton on them? These are so mm -hmm. nice. These are real nice and meaty. They got a flat side and then they have a pointy side. You know, I've never been on the, I haven't been on the Morphe side in forever. Ah, she's from Cuba. 
Right, Coco. Right. Let me tell y'all, Coco ain't selling them, but I'm about to get get them. Don't worry, I I, I can get. Them. <laughs> I can get them. Y'all might not be able to get them. I'm gonna get what I want. If I had to go to Ohio. I'm off now. Summer's started. Let me just roll to Ohio. Ohio. Let me how many hours are you for me? I got your address. <laughs> I'm going to come over to oh, Listen, she about to be glad. I should roll out to your house. <laughs> you said I'm rolling up over there to, to get it. I'm just going to go through your stuff and take what you ain't using. I'll be like, oh hell no, let me pull that. <laughs> right, right, right. You gonna see me? I'll be talking to you on the phone, girl. Hey, girl, what's really going on? Yeah, girl, we gonna be talking because you know we can sit on the phone for at least two hours. I wait till I'm at least an hour and a half away from your house. I'm gonna call you and be talking to you, girl. Yeah, I'm about to go to UPS, girl. You, you know, I'm going to my damn post office so I can be on the phone for thirty minutes, just riding around trying to find a damn parking space. Yep. <laughs> and all of a sudden you're gonna get a knock at your door. <laughs> and I'm have a and I'm have an Aldi bag with me. <laughs> an empty Aldi bag. <laughs> yeah, I just came back and you know get a few things. Men the bronzes you ain't using. <laughs> Got that bowl of bronzes. <laughs> I love my bronzer bowl. That's not all my bronzer stuff, but I love my I bronzer. I love the one that can, uh... <laughs> Coco, she said you have a huge collection. Honey, that's the, that's an understatement. That's the understatement of the century. Coco have a huge collection. That's the understatement of the century. You haven't seen everything I have. I've seen enough, and I knew that was when you showed me that picture. I said, "That ain't all you got." Remember, I was like, <laughs> "I was like, uh, yeah, where's the rest, Coco?" <laughs> One day I might do a collection video, but it'll be like several videos. Of course, it will. Break it down, girl. Okay. This is what I'm working with so far. It's like a bronzy, healthy kind of thing. A little bit smoky. And I think I'm ready to go ahead and put on glasses because I'm sick of this eyeshadow right now. It's actually very pretty, Coco. Thank you, but I'm tired of it. Let me put these lashes on. Okay, let's see. I have some AliExpress glasses that I'm going to use today. Okay. These are, what are these called? My wing has gotten away from me. Okay, these are E85. Okay, wait a minute. You, uh, hey, Monique, you in San Antonio, you making some Cuban food and you didn't invite nobody? Oh, okay, I see where we're going with this. Oh, thank you, D'Angelo. I just, it cleaned up my vanity area. Well, one of them really well. All right. My eyeliner is on. Let me put on. That, that shit took them. I don't know what was going on today. I could not get that on. The wing has gotten away from me, though. The wing has gotten away from me. Hey, Fortunata. I believe, okay. I'm fortunate. I believe it. I believe it with all my, my Cuban food heart. That's all right. You're going to make me go get me some some Puerto Rican food. I'm about to go get me some Iberitos. Okay. I usually use the black kiss liner glue, but I'm going to use the white or the clear today. And why is that? Um, I don't know. I just feel like it. I'm trying to be a little less dramatic, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> I brought some some really bright blush, so I, I'm trying to keep it toned down a little bit. 
Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You see how that went. You see how that went. You know, that I should like just go ahead and just because <laughs> that didn't go, that didn't work out the way I thought it was. So I'm gonna leave this alone. I'm gonna go on and do my put on some primer, put on concealer, and then put on my favorite stuff now. Your favorite. That was my, my instant favorite. Baby, it was. So I'm using some of the part only because I just want to make sure my pores are looking okay. They do. They look beautiful. Your skin is gorgeous. But you know, it's like we always obsess about stuff that people don't see. You know, yeah. we notice every little thing on ourselves. Let me like, oh, but no. And so that's one of the things I had to learn how to take as a compliment, you know, because like in your head, when somebody compliments you a lot of times, you'll be seeing all your imperfections and be like, no, no, no. So I had to learn how to, you know, be better about that. Yeah. Or try to downplay it. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. And, and you really should just take the compliment for what it is, a compliment. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, I work on that. That's something that I work on all the time. I don't tell people a lot about that because I, that's one of my most awkward moments is when people compliment me. I'm always like, in my head, I'm fringy. In my, my whole body cringes up when people compliment me too much. I'd be like, okay, you know, honestly. And most yeah. people would never think that of me because they think I'm so dramatic and I'm so full of myself. But honestly, that's one of the things. So like the people around me know when I get a lot of compliments, the people like gush over me. I'd be like, yeah, okay. You stop now. Uh, we were going for bronzy. We were going for bronzy something or other. That's what we were going for, bronzy looks. Because we were going for IG yacht looks. <laughs> These are our IG yacht looks. Yeah. Because as I was telling Coco, when you really ride on, when you get on boats a lot, you really don't wear this much makeup. My look, I should try to figure out, like, do like my honest look when I go hang out on a boat. I got glue stuck on my finger and then my lash stuck to my finger. Girl, don't you hate that? <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, what is my center today? Honestly, what is mine today is Rihanna's cherry on top because you know I got that today. Well, I got that yesterday and I was trying it out. I had to do a video. I had to do a blind buy video because I got a bunch that we can go through. My sense of the day is uh, Kenzo World Power. I love it because it's sort of like woody and salty and summery all at the same time. It's so pretty on my skin. Love it. It kind of fits the, the beachy bronzy vibe. Right. See, mine didn't. If I was thinking about it, I should have wore coconut nanas because I bought coconut nanas too. Oh, I want to try that. I'll send you some lashes and you send me a sample of Coconut. Are you going to use the samples? Because remember, I sent you a whole box of samples. Did you ever use them? No, I've been using them. I've been using them. Oh, did you? I didn't even know you did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just send me the list of what you want. That's how or you know. Yachty. That's the only reason I know I don't like Jelena. I'm glad you sent me that because I was going to oh, waste right. money on Jelena. Right, right. That's right. I forgot. Okay. So here we go with that. Yes, and the fallout. I'm going to use my new favorite. Try you see the fallout over here? Yes, there's a lot. This is my glowish by Huda Beauty. Oh my god, I'm in love with the glowish. I am about to be a glowing bronzy goddess. 
Don't hate. Don't be hate when you see how how beautifully um, glowy I am. <laughs> what do I want? Okay, I'm gonna have to pull out a wipe for this fallout situation. I think that um, I definitely have more fallout than you might have if you use a brush with practically every shimmer because I'm using my finger. Right. You probably needed a glitter glue with that. Yeah. Probably so. I have some. I just didn't bring it out here. You know, I can't stand using glitter glues anyway. They annoy me. Why? I don't know, because it's just another step. I don't feel like doing it. Mm. I mean, if I have to do it, I will. Right. But probably because I always use, I tend to um, use um, the the this stuff right here, which is that cut crease canvas, it's uh -huh. sticky enough. It's it's got a stick a tackiness to it, so I don't mm. really have to worry about that. So I'm gonna spray my face with my um, everyday coconut toner spray because I just had to wipe some stuff off, and I really don't have um, too much eye cream on now because I wiped off all the fallout. Right. This will give me a little summer. Y'all see the glow on this stuff? Let me set this, and then you still gonna see the glow. Cause right now I look like a honestly, I look like I have like dipped my face in in chicken grease. But okay. But let me set, and then you are gonna see the. <laughs> it looks so good. I brought out my Dior Forever Concealer in the shade two uh, W O. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using my Milani Concealer Perfect Longwear Concealer in 135 Medium Beige. And then this is the Huda Beauty Glowish Tint in 05 Medium. Do you think and medium I'm, is too dark? Lou, do you think medium is too dark for me? Yeah, I think you're going to need a little bit lighter. I know that I, Londa told me I can't do Hooters because the Hooters color is one above me, the 06. She was like, no, Lou. <laughs> I was like, I'm not I'm not Hooters color. <laughs> well, I still got to do that AJ Crimson thing. You didn't do it yet? Uh-uh, I keep forgetting. I got to go on. Just, what do I do? Just DM them? Yeah. Okay. You have to take a picture of yourself without makeup on and natural light and then DM him with the picture and ask him what shade. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set with my YSL All Hour Setting Powder in Honey. Yeah, I think this is in Honey. Yes, this is in Honey. What can I see the name of it? I know it's Honey, though. So, Let's just get this here. Let me just say how much I love concealer. I love concealer. Do you? Yeah, I do. It makes See, me love, look at the difference it makes in my face. I love a good setting powder like this right here. This all our setting powder. And I'm loving the Huda because it's got enough glow. Then once you set it, it's still there. So it's not so chicken greasy now. Now it's just a glow on my skin. Because <laughs> for a minute, I was looking a tad bit chicken greasy. Let <laughs> me put these back. I had on some, um, I had some eye patches on before we got on today. And I think that the um, serum that was left over from the eye patches sort of like filled up under my eye on this side right now that I'm working on. Ah, okay. Listen, you want to be glowy, not chicken greasy. I'm just saying. <laughs> so my bronzer I'm using is my Nabla and Soft Revenge. Yeah, Monique said AJ doesn't get take long to get back with you at all. And he doesn't. It's like right away, like within less than an hour, he'll tell you. Oh, wow. Girl, look at that. That's why I love Nabla. Nabla is so just natural looking. Okay. Look I finally, it's beautiful. Let's see. 
All right, I'm going to set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath under eye concealer, I mean under eye powder in light. I'm going to use uh, Refer 18. Hold on. There we go. Now, to go with my bronzy, cute look, I'm going to use the Cover FX in Warm Honey. You going fast today? I still got to do my underarm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I kind of am, huh? Yes. Well, excuse me for once. For once. I still got to put on my lashes and stuff. Lou, you got a date? You got plans? What, what's, the, what's the rush? Girl, please. Girl, now you know. You know I know. No, you, know. <laughs> you about to uh, hook up and meet with somebody for a cocktail hour or something. Oh, you know? <laughs> Girl, let me tell you the funniest thing, though. Hey, Pam, let me Hi, tell Pam. you. This. So there's this guy that I dated years ago or whatever. And so now I'll talk to him. We ain't cool like that. You know, nothing like that really anymore. But his uh, his girlfriend still got a thing about me. Girl, I want your, I don't want him. If I didn't want him, I could have had him. Actually, he, uh, we never even really dated. Okay, let me just be honest. He was my break glass guy. Oh. So, okay. Remember, I explained to you what break glass guy is. Uh -huh, but everybody else don't know what break uh, glass guy is. Break it down. Break down the break, break glass guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Coco. Um, co <laughs> a break glass guy is the guy that you have when you're not in a relationship, but you need to get, you know, who always good, at, you know, sexually, y'all compatible, but you don't want to date him. You know, you break glass guy. You 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 mess around with him when you need a little, you know, knock some dust off. And I don't know. understand why. Wait a minute. I don't understand why it's called break glass though. What's the, I what, what's the glass because, break it? Okay, because the thing with the break glass guy. <laughs> and then, okay, so let me explain. This is the mistake most women make. Wait, the wait, wait. They, How did it get called break glass? I'm telling you. I'm explaining it to you. Okay. So the thing is, most women make the mistake is that they get caught up on these guys that ain't somebody that you think that you really want to have a relationship with, but the sex is good, right? So break glass means you don't mess around with it too often. You only break the glass when you need some. Break in case of emergency. Thank you. Oh. So it's not like somebody. So he ain't somebody that. See, because too often women get caught up in the dick. <laughs> I'm just going to say it real. I mean, we all grown up in here. Um, yeah. They get caught up on it, even though they know he ain't somebody they really should be with. And then all of a sudden they all in love. Sad, that doesn't happen with me, but you know, sometimes men get that way too, so you got to keep a little distance. So, he was somebody that I liked having seen every once in a while, and you know, you just he, he got it was like one time he got upset with me when he really figured out this is what it was, you know, because I was, I was, I told him, I said, I'm about to be busy and shit, and then I didn't call him, and he was like, <laughs> I haven't talked to him in a few months, and he was like, You're not really caught, we don't, why, what's up? I said, Well. <laughs> I'm busy. You busy. He was like, well, you know, we could talk. Talk about what? Shit. We could talk when we see each other. And then the the talk is, hey, you got some time? I got some time. Okay, come pick me up. And he had, see, the thing was, he had this really cool, like, he had converted part of his garage and had this hot tub. And we would just go over there and I was just relaxing the hot tub. Stuff like that. So, you know, break it off, you know, it's just... It's, <laughs> Break it off. <laughs> now, wanna, like you know, the, like the fire extinguisher. Break yeah. the glass in case of emergency. Okay. Yeah, just an emergency, you know. So anyway, he said something recently on a picture of mine. He just liked the picture. The picture was from months ago that of me and Bakari, my G-son. Yeah. Baby, his girlfriend came out of nowhere months later. And I'm talking about at least and this is just some real funny picture of me and Bakari. Like, really? Like, tagged him in my picture. Now, man, all, all he did was like it. Tagged him in the picture and then said some snarky shit. You know who saw that shit was B. B oh, was B. 
she was hot. And then I really looked, I said, wait a minute, did this bitch like come in on my pictures like this one? I don't fuck with y'all. So baby, and apparently another friend of mine saw it, inboxed her ass because she knew and cussed her the fuck out. Everybody went off because it was just so it was just so unnecessary. So um yeah, and, that I was text, and I text him because I mean nothing has happened between us in years. He has a woman now, that shit's over. If I was in a relationship, that shit would be over. That was kind of like the way we rolled. So um I had to send him a message. I said, you need to get your bitch. In. I, I didn't call her bitch because I don't call women bitches like that. I said, you need to get your broad in control. I said, because I don't fuck with you. I ain't said nothing. And she, you, and then he was such a punk, right? He didn't say, he, he didn't even respond or anything. He's like, I'm so sorry, right? And so then she sent, you know, she apologized or whatever. Because apparently, like I said, a few people went in her inbox and cussed her ass out. Like, what's wrong with you? So, um, so now recently, you know, I put something up and he said something on it. He posted something on it. Again? Like, Again? Like, all he did was like it. So now I'm just going to be, so now I'm feeling in a messy motherfucking mood now. So I tagged him in the, and put, and like put hearts on it. Like, like, thank you, baby. Nah, bitch. Okay, be mad. You're you going to be mad. You're going to be big mad at my black ass. I'm going to put gold in, in my, especially when I don't bother people. You know, I'm like, yeah. Um, I mean, there's like absolutely no conversation between us. We don't talk. So for her to act that goofy about a like, and it was a like of me and my grandson, girl, bye. So now I'm really going to touch my life. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but I don't really go in the sun all like that. Huh? I don't go in the sun too much. Okay. We we doing a bronzy look, right? But I really don't go in the sun that much. Unlike me. So, I'm, my bronze is going to come from bronzer powder, bronzy creams, things like that. Man is coming from there, see? Okay, so just in case I didn't show y'all what I put on. This is but my... I don't, my I, I don't have nothing. Right? Um, you, you got your... You got your vac now listen, if I go on vacation, that's a different story. I will get a tan on vacation. Right. Right. She said you are using and selling them right for much. Okay, so now this is my... <laughs> JPEG Beauty, you glow girl highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters. Y'all are sleeping on the JCAT Beauty. Um, we need to talk but, about rough brushes. But let me just, we got to talk about that. But let me just tell y'all this. This is one of my favorite brushes, and this is by Stelazi. This is a dome fluff, fluff brush. I'm going to show y'all some. This picks up, for some reason, like a bait. You know how like, you have bait? blushes and baked um highlighters girl this yeah. picks up the stuff so nicely and it's just like all over you it just look at that it just picks it up just it did beautiful and this is like a very inexpensive brush but for some reason like especially with the with the baked ones it's got enough um fluff it's fluffy but it's dense enough to pick them up and just lay that color down girl just lay that color down so where, where did you get the stelazi brushes from they actually have a website stelazi has a website i got the first one though when i saw them at the makeup show because mm -hmm. that's the one that i buy let me see if any of my Okay. Ones right now. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I started buying them because when I'm using cream, um, cream eyeliner, Salazi has the skinniest, the finest. This is their angled mini, and this baby is skinny and fine, and it's like the best. So if you're trying to do something where you need a really fine angled brush. This is where you can get. So this is uh that's how I found it. And so I just happened to buy that dome flush fluff one time and I love it. Oh, it's so good. Okay. So now let me spray my face and then I put my lashes on and some lipstick. So I just used some Aether Beauty uh, Supernova Crust Diamond Highlighter. You guys have probably 
you know what it is without me telling you at this point because I use it every week. Every time I do my eyeshadow, it's going on this inner corner to brighten it up. Let me get my fan out. Fan my face. <laughs> yeah, Court, you're you're pale too, so you, you understand. I'm not trying to have a sunburn or or the, the spots or the wrinkles. I don't burn. However, let me say this. I do have some sunspots because I have spent, in my youth, I stayed in the sun too much. No sun. Because, you know, back in, listen, back in the 80s, there wasn't no such thing as sunscreen. We wasn't doing no damn sunscreen. I was a, 80s and 90s, I was a suntan lotion. Go out there and bake, bake in the sun like you are a pig on a spit. Remember that oil, the bronzing oil? Girl, I used to have it. My mama used to use that. Baby, I use that stuff. Okay, so um, in let's have a moment for the marketing. Yeah. <laughs> they hey Chai, they come in bigger sizes. I didn't have a chance. You to just gotta look them. around for the bigger sizes, child. When you're on Amazon, Amazon I got every damn thing. You just gotta yeah. check the sizes, child. You can get you can get up to a fifty inch square scarf on there. All right, so my face is dry. Let me put on some lashes. I don't know what lashes I want to put on though. Dramatic lashes. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to put on these, the Noir Fairy Blacks. Well, these are they're a little um, bit short, but they are dramatic. Jamila, Mark got some good stuff. It's a shame he's going out of business. This is the Omega Glaze all over in 79 Guilty. I'm going to put this on before my blush, I think. And I'm going to use another refer brush. So um, anybody who has bought some refer brushes recently, y'all need to go ahead and fill out your survey so you can get 40% off site-wide. Yeah, because they have some new ones in the secret shop if you just fill out your thing, which I did the other day. And I'm, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Something weird happened with your audio. With my audio? Uh-huh. It sounds like you're echoing or like in a in a can kind of. Really? Uh-huh. Maybe it's just my phone. Does Lou does she sound okay to everybody else? Do I sound okay or should I do something trying to do something? It could be my phone. It might be me. Have you decided what lipstick you're wearing? Um yes. Okay, so I'm going to wear these. These are the four lights. Look, she said my audio changed. Yummy agreed with you. Kia agreed with you. So I don't yeah. know what's going on. Uh, in a tin can, let's try something. Lou, put some highlight on your cupid bow. Oh, you're right. Because you got to put all the extra highlight on since this is a bronzy glow look. You are absolutely right. What did I do? Can you hear me better? Well, we could hear you okay, but it just sounds funny. Am I still it's low? Like, it's like, no, it's like an echoey kind of thing. Huh. I don't know what that's about, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, where are my blushes at? Where's my favorite Cupid Spoon So I'm highlighting my shoulders and my um, decollete. Every place I put my bronzer at, I'm putting highlight too. Okay, well, I can't find it. Oh, I need to wash these brushes. You have, you have Am I using a mic? No. I don't know why thing? that happened. It sounds better now. It got it's better now. You have this brush? Which brush? This one. Who's that? Refer. It's Refer 20. 
No, nah, you know, I still haven't bought any. You know, me and fan brushes are now like whatever. I'm going to. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> nobody, say, nobody say whatever like you. <laughs> hey, you know, whatever. Yes, it's so cute, Drea. It's time to let the skin out. Okay. After I do that, I'll do a little skin something right here. Here. Okay. But uh, since we got that, um, where is it at? What did I do with it? Where's that? The, the glow <laughs> stuff we just got. The glow stuff we just got. The oh, I didn't, I didn't even bring that in here. Okay. So I I, what the hell did I do with them? <laughs> Is oh. that enough highlighter, y'all? I think so. I think it is. Okay. All right. It's so, so funny because I'm all glowy and it is like overcast and 60 degrees in Chicago today. <laughs> I'm going to pull out blush I haven't used uh, except once. And it's from Pat McGrath. It's Electric Venus. So since my eyes are, in my opinion, relatively subdued for me, I'm going to use this brightening blush. <laughs> She'd say my eyes are relatively subdued. <laughs> they are, compared to what I usually do. Right. <laughs> now that, that's a very true statement compared to what you normally do. It maybe is. Not, maybe not for other people, but for me, it's, it's subdued. Okay, I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes that I use for bright pigmented blushes. This is a Wayne Goss, number 14. And since it's so bright, I'm gonna start in the back and just tap it on first. And bring it up along my temple because I love how that looks. Oh, this blush is so pretty. Lou, you got to get some. I will eventually. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. How's the new job coming? How's the new job, Courtney? Oh, yeah, Court gets to get dressed up and stuff now for work. Have you been doing your makeup for work, Courtney? Oh, thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep up with Coco. I'm just trying, you know, in this, in this little world, I'm trying to be like Coco. <laughs> you crazy. I'm trying to be like you, Okay. So I know and I'm not I, as dramatic as you would prefer, but this is a little more dramatic than normal. I like it. <laughs> and what's so funny? You know I got a drawer full of dramatic ass lashes. I'm going to start pulling them out for you. <laughs> this, this blush, I think that people complain about the clasp, but I feel like it loosens up over time after you've opened it up a few times. It'll start loosening up. And I think it was made so hard to open so that it doesn't eventually get to where it doesn't really close. That's what I think happened. Oh, wait. Okay. I might have put too much blush on. Doesn't I'm like the, um, doesn't the illusion of the fact that you're kind of hot go with the bronzy and glowy? Isn't that supposed to, that goes together, right? What the the illusion of being hot <laughs> with your with the blush, you know, like a bronzy look and a bronzy glowy look should be like a little heat on the cheeks. That goes with it, yeah. <laughs> you're looking good, girl. <laughs> That's a lot of blush, but I love it. Right, right, right. And she right, as you're still applying more blush. So I got on too much blush. <laughs> I was blending. <laughs> I was blending. Uh, 
another trick that I use, and this is something that works for me because of my complexion, is I put on my bronzer, my highlight, and the blush goes on last, and then it sort of like blends into the bronzer and the highlight a little bit better for me. So I didn't put anything else on my fan brush, but I'm just using this to blend a little bit more. Okay. Well, you got to do a little blend, a little blend, a little blending. Okay, so mine, you know, I'm, I have a thing. I just, I'm not good with the blush a lot because I just be feeling like I look like somebody punched me. But you know, I love a good blush, but I'm just a little more. And, and I have about 10 years on you. So there's a little difference there. You know, as you get a little bit older, you'd be like, okay, let me you pull it down. No, you can't fail. You can put as much blush on as you feel like putting on. Don't, don't worry about how old you are. I'm going to put a little bit more of the Aether Beauty no, on my so camera right here. Girl, okay, you are, girl, okay with that. Okay, Miss Glow, 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 Glow it up, girl, Glow it up. Okay, I so I don't, I don't what have I, the glowy foundation, so I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shut up, Kia. Shut up, you know I <laughs> blush for your life blush for your life no nah, it's like I think part of it is, is that when we were younger um, you would we didn't wear as much makeup you know it wasn't like black women wore makeup so I used to wear and it would be like oh girl so I kind of got in that habit of like tone it down at least my, my blush I have gotten more with the eyeshadow than when I was younger because I didn't know how to blend good back then you know back then we didn't really know how to blend our makeup we looked yeah. a little crazy back then. <laughs> well, see, my grandmother was glamorous as hell. And so she always wore makeup. My dad's mama, she used to have her makeup beat. She used to wear green eyeshadow. She felt like it. She made her own clothes. She was cold. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking lipstick. What lipstick you wear? Um, I have a I brought a lifter gloss out to use today, but that's not all. I'm going to put that on top. I have the crystal lifter gloss, and I have a color from lip liner. Okay. And, um, I brought out Finesse from Propa Beauty. I was just looking at my Propa Beauty thinking I needed to start wearing a little more, but I think I'm going to do something a tad bit different. Okay. My face is stuck on my knob right now. Hold on, let me think about this. Okay. I'm gonna see how this one looks. My antique dresser knob was it was uh it was stuck. This is dead. Okay, so I gotta get rid of this. Don't you hate when you find something and you're like, oh my god, it's gone, it's gone. What happened? What's that? What's that? What's that? Um, it is. Oh, you know what? I can use. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna use this one, and then I'm gonna put it on top of something. I haven't used this in a while. You know, it's like I'm trying to make sure that I'm using things that I have instead of going. I need some new shit. <laughs> I wish I could do it. Okay, what color is this? This is cool BFF. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not. We can do this. You could we could do you could do this, Coco. I heard you had good kids chuckling to go, ah, that's not gonna happen over here. <laughs> right. It's probably not. I but heard that. I heard that. I heard it. Now this lip liner is not darker like um, the MAC lip liner I use a lot, but I like it because it neutralizes all the color on my lips and then use a truer to the color I, I put on. Why do I have this? This is stupid. I don't even like this. Sorry. Okay, oh, you know what? Let me look at these. Hold on. <laughs> Tammy oh. loves your earrings, Lou. Oh, thank you. Tammy, did you find the um the Instagram page for um Donnie? 
so you could order some jewelry from her? I thought I sent it. Or, um, so I'm going to use this. This is called OU. Remember this was a makeup by Shayla color? No. Let me see it again. Oh. So I'm going to go okay. with a peachy. And then I'm going to put this one on top of it. Oh, okay. Peachy. I'll put Okay. That's your that's your nude. I know that's you know this is my nude, right? Right. Okay, that's what a proper beauty finesse looks like. You know I love a good peachy look on my lips. But watch this. I'm gonna fix it. If I put a peachy nude on like last week, it turns orange. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. That's okay. Pammy says, no, you don't have it, and she wants you to DM her. Okay. Do you know her Instagram? I'll make sure you have it. I was supposed to do that for Fortunata, too, but I didn't do it. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Let me change it. Let me change it. Let me change it. I'm playing with something else. That, though. that what color was that? A uh, Shayla something from where? It was what OU was is color pop. Oh, color pop. Oh. Yeah, this is when she did that. Um, she did one of her things with them. But you don't like it, so put it to the side. No, I don't like it right now. <laughs> I love the color. Why you want it? <laughs> No, you know I don't want it. I can't do peach and peach and peach. <laughs> you say you can't do them peach and paint ones. Oh, I need my nude lips kind of cool toned. Huh? I said I need my nude lips to be kind of cool toned for it to um look right. Oh, this lift or gloss smells so good. Ooh. Them lifter glasses are it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I must have caught up to you because I'm done. I know. I'm still playing with lipsticks. What color did you pull out now? Oh, no. Not today, which is what you said. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm going to go different. Because what I need... I'm going to go with a more brownish nude. Because okay. I don't work with this look. And then I'm going to do something. <laughs> you guys, I don't... We didn't mention it earlier, but I'm still like having to check my other phone to look at um, comments. I actually switched phones for this live to see if they would come up, but they still didn't. So I'm not ignoring you guys. I just really can't see it. Y'all know the drill. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna put this on, which is oh my, is that Walmart? Wait a wait a minute. Oh, I don't think I'm saying it right. Oma, you Oma, is there a Walmart now? What? I don't own any of them anyway. Monique wants to know if you have a more bronzy colored lippy. No, I don't buy bronzy lips. No. I am not a bronzy girl. That's one thing I'm not. <laughs> so I'm going to add this to it, which is this. Um, this is from the Nima Tang one. This is the gloss from it. This is called okay. Sequin. Okay, Faith. Be careful. <laughs> yes, I'm bathing in steady water, Pammy. But this is so good. It's not really steady water. This is a toner. If you haven't bought it, it, everybody who don't have this, go get it. It's like $6 or $7, and it's 12 ounces, and it's got beautiful ingredients. It's just got, like, um, neem extract and papaya and coconut water with glycerin and a little lavender. I love this. So I added on this little. Yeah, I like that one. That's the one. Okay, so I was going to use those things, but I don't know what I did with them. I was playing with them the other day. But, um, 
You know, what's the names we got? And then I pulled out the one I made a while ago. I was wearing it. Hmm, what do I do with it? I'm going to put this back. That was really loud. Hmm. Hold on, let me be right back. Is that, let me see what that is. So y'all tell me what your favorite bronzy eyeshadow palette is. I really don't know what mine is right now. It might be um, from probably Natasha Denona's bronze palette. That's another good one. And I almost used that one today, but then I remembered I haven't used my um, Dominique Cosmetics palettes at all. So I decided to use it. But this is a good, good, good bronze palette right here. Ooh, these shimmers are really, really shiny. Oh, yes, it's, it's got a lot of coconut water, coconut extract, coconut, all kind of stuff. It, it's coconut toner for sure. Okay, tart toasted and the waffle cone. You know what? I haven't used my waffle cone yet. Of course you haven't. Are all the BH um, palettes still available? What are those called? Sweet Shop? The Sweet Shop palettes are back in stock. Okay, so I have mine that I made, which is this one. And then we have the Nabla um, Sugar Babe right here. So I'm going to do a little swirl here. So this is mine. It's a, it's a deeper bronze. That's the one I made. Uh, then, Tammy, you can, you can get this water like at Whole Foods and at Vitacost. And I can't remember where else, but like the vitamin shop type store is where you get this at. Shai, where did you get yours at? So this is mine. This is my little bronzer. So mine is not as sparkly as the, but it's truly bronze and just like, because I was playing around and I wanted to figure out how, how I could make some. So yeah. I made What if I have like, what if I have some loose highlighter that I'm not using? Will that work? Yep, that's what I did it with. I did some loose highlighter. So this one is a little less sparkly. It's just really sheeny. So when I put this one on and I was looking at myself in the sun, it was like really cool. So it's like a little sheeny, not so sparkly. Oh, that sounds beautiful. So this, and I did a little more bronzy. I think I want to do another one. But I want to do it like a more rosy gold, like add some rose gold into it to brighten it up just a little bit. I think this one would be better on somebody who's got a little deeper complexion than me, or like if I'm like really out there in the sun. But because it's such a deep gold and like bronzy gold, I did. So you used the color that you wasn't really using on your face to make that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alrighty, so I think we've done our faces, Coco. We did. Our lips look yeah. the same. You, uh, huh? I said our lips look almost the same color. They do. They do. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. So we look beautiful. So yeah, I think the only thing I have that's really super bronzy is. The this one that a uh, honey one, but this is like a cool toned one, the prelude ex exposed one. Yeah, this kind of works out. This is That's more like a. This is this is what I'm trying to be natural. This is one of my natural palettes. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is good for work though. This is a really good work palette. Flash it on, you know, cutesy and everything. You know what a really good product you know in our really description box is we should. A really good bronzy palette to me is the Natasha Denona Gold palette. You know, I never bought that one. Why not? It's one I, of the best ones. Because I'm not into gold that much. And I was like, gold palette, no, thank you. I don't need it. No, it's thank you. That, it's not really that gold, actually. 
to me. It's but not. you got a bunch of golds, and you know you like shimmers more than me. Mm -hmm. I do. So it was like, mm, no. And then I got the Metropolis now, so that's good enough. Okay. That's good enough. That's good what, enough. What, whoa, hold up. You said that's good enough, but it's so different. They're so different. Yeah, but I, I don't need them both because I ain't going to use them. See, I would never use a gold. I would use the Metropolis. Here's See, the I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be better. What, what's that? This is oh, the Marc Jacobs. Jacobs. The Extravagance Palette. This is a cute bronzy palette, too. Look at this one. Okay, that is cute. That is cute. That's a cute bronzy one. Yep. That's a cute bronzy one. Okay. You know what else we do have? I say that fast. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> I, I have all, all of my Natasha Denona palettes are like on the other side of my camera, you guys. Mm. Huh. I can find it. Huh. Interesting. You what know, you looking for? Um, not for this one, but aha, here it is. You this know is what else? The Kaleidos. This this, I know there's this, this Corda Rosa palette has can make a pretty bronze look too. This one is deep bronze, but this is the Kaleidos. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Bronze. Yes. And then a colorful palette that can go bronzy as hell is the uh, Give Me Girl Summer Vibes palette. That palette has some beautiful bronze colors in it. I never bought that one. I wasn't You're into tripping. It. You need to get that. I wasn't into it back then. It's beautiful. Look at these bronzy colors in here. Look. Okay, those are good. Those are good. I'll give you that. Yeah, you can do a beautiful bronzy summer beachy look with this one. See, I don't really have a lot of bronze. I'm looking around. I'm like, no. Nope, you don't nope. have a lot of bronze? Yeah. <laughs> now, this you is a good one. This one, too. This one. Forget about this the blue hat. This is California Love by ColourPop. Oh, do they have that anymore? I don't know, but I forgot all about this one. This one, cute, you, girl. Yes, cute. But if you love color and you just need bronze sometimes. But that was not available. Yes, it is. It's the blueprint. Oh, that's the blueprint? I thought it was the other one. I thought it was Vita Loca. No, this is blueprint. Oh, okay. See, I See, you know what? I get mad when they come out with like blueprint and it ain't enough blue for me. Then I'm just thoroughly disgusted and I don't want it. <laughs> we could do a half neutral, half colorful look one day. Because Smoke Sessions does it too, but with green. But see, you know, that's the other reason. I wanted green at the time. It wasn't green enough for me. I was like, no, I don't need all that. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Look how bronzy one half of that is, though. It is bronzy. And see, that's the other thing, because it was only two mattes. When they, those were coming out, I was like, I don't want all that matte. I don't want all that shimmer. I'm not going to use it like that. So, like I said, I'm more, I love mattes a lot. Yeah. Let me see your Natasha Denona Safari palette. Let me see that. Okay. Can you do a matte bronze look at that? Mm -hmm. No. For it to be bronzy, it needs to have shimmer. Yeah, That's right. You need some shimmer. This is this would be good to like create the bronze look and then go with some nice some shimmer. Singles, some singles or something. Right, some singles. Mm -hmm. You know who else from Natasha Denona is a beautiful bronzy palette is Biba. But this is so boring to me. I Which use one? one time. Biba. Yeah, I didn't even look at that. I was like, that is so boring. But you can do it, you can do a beautiful bronze. Let me take this one. Let's see what we got in here. What is this? Sydney Gray. Oh yeah. You have all your makeup right there, don't you? Yes. Yes. Mine is spread out all over the world. 
So we got some bronzy ones in here. On that homosexual right there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what the new Tempaya palettes look like. Are there any? You could get a bronzy look with some of those too. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a lot right up in here. Like right up in this section. Let me see. Can I get y'all over here? This section over here. This is my little yeah. bronze section right here. These are all my greens. Sydney Grace greens. They slid over a little bit. I need to pick up some new blues. These now, are all my palette, greens. This palette is not available anymore, but if somebody has the extra spicy by Give Me Glow, there's some beautiful bronzy colors in here. And then you know, I went through the space where I was buying ColourPop singles, and I never pulled them out. Yeah. And you know what? I think singles go bad faster than palettes. I've got some singles that really ain't doing right. They're not doing well. They're not aging easily. I don't know what's wrong with them. Sorry. Let me see. Cause, girl, I went through this thing where I was buying all of these. This is so sad. I was buying all of these right here. And I was like, oh, the singles were so cheap. Remember, ColourPop was like giving away these singles. So I yeah, started buying them. They were. So, and I never use them. I got to pull these out. So look. But you know what I have noticed about ColourPop? Um, their descriptions and a lot of their colors don't come out the same way. Like they'll say it's like this deep color. And then I get it and it was like, no. Oh, I remember the extra spicy. I didn't get it because I was not into those colors then. You know, it's like when, when things come out sometimes, you'd be like, no, that's not me right now. Yep. So, like, and this was when I was on my quest for the purples and the greens and the blues. This is a beautiful, now I don't know if it's still on there or not, but I got this when she had a sale. Not this time, but the time before. This is Natasha Denona holiday palette. Mm -hmm. You know who else got some beautiful bronzy colors? It's Juvia's place, but I don't have those close by. Yeah, Juvia does. I, have I, I think I gave away some of them, though. Juvia's place does beautiful bronzy, brown, rich, buttery. She, she does really beautiful shimmers. Her mats are have gotten better, but back in the day, baby, them first ones were terrible. Yeah, I actually did get rid of the Nubian palette. That very first palette she came out with. And I don't really declutter that much, but I had to get rid of that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I gave that away. It was just too boring. It was too not me. No, How no. come you didn't tell me my cheeks was looking like, like a clown? What do you mean your cheeks look like a clown? They they matched your whole. What are you talking about? I th this part on my apples is too much. <laughs> See, you don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have given away. I've gotten rid of quite a few. Like last year, I think I decluttered about 40 pallets. The problem is you declutter and then you buy more. So it just all balances out. So it really. Well, the thing is, is that I'm not going to declutter it in the per for the purpose of buying more. So. Somebody had mentioned, I don't remember who it was, I apologize, but somebody had mentioned maybe like doing a Poshmark closet or something like that. I, I think about it from time to time. Because I do, but it's, like, it's like, but then you got to pack it up and wrap it up. And... You have to have bubble wrap and everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I could get rid of some, though. No. Yeah. Now, I get rid of a few things here and there that I know I'm not using. I really do. Right. I have just right. given away two of my Violet Boss palettes to um, some of my cousins. Right. See, that's what I usually do. I just, like, get rid of them and be like, oh, here you are. You want some? Like, when I got rid of all the liquid lipsticks, I just gave those away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, you feel better about giving it to people you know. Or yeah. people in your family. Whoops. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know how to sanitize these stuff either. That's my other thing. I, that's too much work. I got to sanitize and all that stuff. People I know, I could just give it to them and they can just, well, you know, if you get pink out, you got it from me. <laughs> you 
know, but when you're on those things, you got to worry about it and everything. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen people who actually do like a declutter video and then they like, you know, let me know in the comments if you want it, I'll send it to you type stuff. I'm like, oh, whoa, no. You can't give Let me tell you something. Them. You are opening yourself up for issues when you do that kind of stuff. And But people will always yeah. ask you, you know, if you do it, because like when I've done, you know, especially when um, I know that does, but I still don't feel, you know, yeah. I'm still not doing it, but you know, I know um, people do it, but I'm not going to send off anything, especially to somebody I don't know. Like if you said, Lou, send me this. Okay, cool. You know, if we, but I'm not sending it off to some stranger because that's the moment that somebody going to say damn for you and they're going to do a whole video on how you sent them some eyeshadow and how you affected their eyes and that they, they've been in the hospital and it's all because they got some stuff from you. No, ma'am. <laughs> no man, and you know, and they probably didn't get it from you, but they just gonna make it on you because then it's gonna be a good video. You know what I'm saying? So I would. That's my issue with doing stuff like that. Yeah, perfume is, perfume is one thing. You know, perfume is what it is. It's a bottle. You spray it. It is what it is. But when it comes down to stuff like this, mm. now I can see maybe blush, maybe highlight that kind of thing, but eyeshadow and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm really, no, I ain't doing them. I ain't sending them no blush, no highlight. Why? Because then they'll talk about how they got this huge pus filled something on there. And it was right after I used that blush, she sent me, no, I'm not sending nobody. I ah, don't no, ask me. Now, if I know you, okay, cool. You're going to get some. But, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> all right. Well, we have done our looks. Now, I guess we got to take some pictures. I got to adjust my scarf and, and do some of these edges because these edges are tired. But, uh, yeah, the dumpster dives are oh, interesting. Mm -mm, yeah, okay, this is because I'm far away. I can see these edges. Trust and believe. I'm gonna spray them up. I'm gonna brush them up just a little bit. I'm just saying. All right, all right. It was another yay. Thank you, Lou. Good night, pose everybody. For the, pose for the people. Pose for the people, girl. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. Bye.